check out this filming setup. So there's our little breakfast nook. We got the light stand, the table is just moved over here. And then I'm about to cook to bake up something. Well, not even really bake it. It's gonna be delicious, you guys. Or at least I hope so. So let's get started. Stay. Oh. <laughs> like, wait, what? Oh, hey, Brady. What is going on here? It's craziness. Ugh. That thing is dive bombing. Okay, okay. It, I don't know if it's zoomed in at all. Try um, zooming out. Start the recording and come over here. It's already started. Oh. What are you doing? Get out of the kitchen. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Today we are going to be experimenting with a recipe. This guy loves... I love cookies and cream Hershey's bars. That has not been vegan since they've been making them. So... <laughs> yeah. So I googled a recipe for a vegan cookies and cream bar. And I found a YouTube video of a girl that veganized it herself. It's not an official recipe, and I'm not even like looking at directions, so we're just gonna kind of wing this and see how it goes. Throw this all of this in there. What we did find is cocoa butter. So this is cocoa butter, but on Amazon. Good so start. This is gonna be a really good tutorial, you guys. So if this is terrible, oh. If this is terrible, we're not gonna tell you. Smell. Uh, it smells like white chocolate. Oh, no. I'm not there, but you stop me. Well, it's not sweetened. It's just white chocolate. Alright, continue. We'll just, we'll just add some sweetener to it, for sure. It's got sugar in it. It's good. So, cocoa butter. Don't eat them by themselves, because it doesn't taste good. We're going to add some sugar to this. So, I'm going to do the whole package of this in here. And then I'm also going to add some coconut oil, because we want to melt the cocoa butter, but we want it to solidify after it's melted. So, coconut oil. I'm just going to add several tablespoons. Seems fair. Right? That smells good. That's a lot of tablespoons. So we'll start there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start microwaving this. Um, the recipe calls for a double boiler, but I do, I'm, I'm just going to heat it in the microwave, so. Uh-oh, our power's going to blow. All right, guys. Really, really surprised and weirded out by how this melted. Since it's cocoa butter, I guess it makes sense that it's melting yellow with the coconut oil. Whenever it dries, it'll go back to the normal little white, creamy color. Waiting for the rest of the chips to melt. I heated it for about one minute, stirred, about another minute, and now I'm just stirring. Since the cocoa butter chips cocoa aren't butter very chip. sweet, the recipe called for powdered sugar, but I overlooked that at the store today, so we just have some regular sugar we're going to generously add to the bowl. This is going to be interesting. Let's just get to the end. We'll taste it at yes, the please. end. <laughs> and then it also calls for how many teaspoons of vanilla extract? Four. Couple little capfuls of it is what I'm gonna add. Two caps. This count to four Mississippi. That's not teaspoons. I know. You wanna start crushing the Oreos? That's what I'm about to do. And so, since it is cookies and cream, it calls for Oreos. But you have to crush them up. So we're gonna crush up a ton of Oreos. And then the last step is just to mix it in here, pour it into this pan, and refrigerate it until it's set. So it probably it's probably gonna take overnight because I'm very hopeful that this is gonna be delicious. So I'm just gonna crush them aside. Yeah. What are we doing? And we'll do, we'll do that much. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mash them up. Just mash them up. This is going to get messy. That's perfect. Ready to mix? Oh, my gosh. How can that not be good? Add, like, a um, ribbon to it or see. something? Actually, it tastes really good. Now we pour it in our pen. Spread it out nice and smooth like. Wow. I'm gonna set this in the fridge. Looks like hot garbage right now, but. You didn't think through the fridge space, did you? RV Life 101. Plan ahead when it comes to fridge space. We're gonna let that cool overnight and we will check on it in the morning. The morning. All right guys, it only took, what was that, like an hour or so? Solid, but that looks like a cookies and cream bar. It cut out pretty nicely. It's not good, is it? Try it. It's garbage. 
It's really good. That's actually not bad. That's why I didn't say anything. Yeah. That's really good. What? It's not like cookies and cream bar from the store, but it's also, what, four or five ingredients? I'd say it's more like a white chocolate, it's like a white chocolate bark with Oreos, which isn't a bad thing at all. Yeah. This is really good. I'm pretty surprised at how good this is. And only a couple ingredients. So I can share the recipe with you guys since it is good, so I'll leave it in the comments below. That's delicious. Jan, you guys should definitely try it. The fact that you can make it all at home, pretty cool. That's going to be it for this day. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thumbs up if you do enjoy the recipe video. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Stay tuned for Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Stay tuned for Vlogmas Day 3. Vlogmas. Okay, Merry Christmas, bye.